Hi, I'm Joe Rode. I'm from Eddie Motorsports, and we're here today to install a set of our built aluminum hood hinges on this 66 Chevelle. Just like the name says, our hood hinges are machined out of 100% 6061 T6 built aluminum. It's a lot different than the stock stamped steel parts that come on your car. Uh, one unique feature of our billet hood hinges is there's sealed bearings in all the pivot points, so they're very smooth in their operation and they're very rigid. There's no side-to-side -side play. Another unique feature of our hinge is that they're, they incorporate a stainless steel gas strut that helps dampen, helps dampen the actuation, also helps assist the hood when you lift it. Again, it offers very smooth operation, very rigid, much different than the sloppy, sloppy, flimsy stock stamped steel hinge with the, with the spring. Our kits come with all the new stainless steel fasteners, everything you need to install them. It's a very simple installation. A socket and a ratchet is about all you need. One of the most time consuming parts of installing the hinges, or one of the most important parts of installing the hinge is going to be the adjustment once the hinges are installed. So what you want to do before you get started is protect your car as best as possible. You can see how we've wrapped painters tape around all the edges. We're going to use fender covers um, so that we, when we do get into the adjustment process the car is protected and we don't want to chip any of the paint. Also it's going to take two people to do this installation so make sure you've got the help of a friend. Don't, don't try to do this by yourself. There's just there's too many parts of the installation where you need two people to be able to do it, to do it properly. You see we've already removed the hood. Before we did that we marked where the stock hinges were on the hood so we have a reference point to come back when we do the adjustments. We're also going to do the same thing on the fender wall of the car. Okay. Now we're going to remove the stock hinges. The struts are going to come packaged, but they're not going to be installed on the hinge. You want to going to, you're going to want to put the strut on the hinge before you stick it up on the, on the car. Okay. Before you install the struts, you're going to put a dab of grease on the ball stud that's on the hinge. And once the struts are snapped on, there's a small clip. I'm going to show you with it off because it's easier for you to see. There's a small clip that holds the strut to the hinge. It goes in a small hole. And it's, it's just installed in the hole. Now flip over and that will hold the strut on the hinge. We're going to install the struts on the hinge right now but we're not going to put the clips on because for right now because you may want to take the struts back off during the adjustment process and it'll just make it a lot easier to do. Also an internal spring. If for some reason that spring gets dislodged from the channel that's in this strut, it'll make the strut really hard to get on the ball stud. So if you're finding that it's hard to to push the strut on the ball stud, you may have dislodged that little internal ring. Just take a little ice pick or an awl and bring it back into the strut. You won't be able to depress the struts when they're off the car like this. These struts have enough pressure to hold up a long hood, so you won't be able to do it by hand. So don't waste your time doing that. So don't attempt to depress them or don't don't think there's a problem because you can't depress them. Okay. Our hood hinge kits come with all new stainless steel button head fasteners. It's always a good idea whenever you're working with stainless steel fasteners to use a little bit of anti-seize on the threads to prevent them from galling. Before you start, it's always a good idea to chase the threads, chase the original threads in the, the fender. As a starting point, I'm going to put the hinges right in the neutral as a center position just so we get a starting point when we go to install the hood.
to help make it easier during the adjustment process, we're going to take off the stock hood latch so the hood, is not, so the hood isn't always latching when we're moving it up and down. Like the hood hinges, we're going to mark it first so we can get back to our existing location and we're ready to reinstall it. Now we're ready for our first test fit to see how we, how we look on the fit. I'm going to come down real slow and make sure we're not tight anywhere. That's like okay. We're pretty tight by in this corner, so we're going to have to go. Looks like we're going to have to go that way a little, and of course we're we're way forward, but we knew we were going to have to do that. So we'll go loosen it back up and make the adjustments. So I think we're even as far as back goes. Mm -hmm. You a little less than halfway. Yep. Yeah. We went over a little bit, but looks like we need to go more. You can see this can be a long, time-consuming process to get it just right. Some cars, of course, are easier than others, but we'll take our time and make sure it's really right. All right, after several attempts here, it looks like we got it pretty good. We went side to side several times, back and forth a couple times. Um, the hinge also, we raised it up a little bit in the back to get the height close. So, pretty good, if it looks good. Uh, one thing that's very important before you start is to check your seams and take, check all your fitment first before you take the stock hinges off. That way you're not chasing a problem that already existed that you forgot or you didn't know it existed. Kind of hold it at about any position to hold the hood up. We fit, all the, we fit all the hinges with the strut that we've tested to fit for that model, but there are heavier hoods, and if you have insulation on your hood or something that's gonna make it heavier, or if you were using a lighter like a fiberglass hood, we have different sizes of struts that we can swap out for you to tailor it to your car. So if you, have a, if you ever have a problem with that, uh, we can fix that. So. You can also see how smooth the hood hinges are. They'll hold the, hinge at, they'll hold the hood at varying positions. Again, they're also very smooth. Hood doesn't slam down. Nice assist. Nice assist to help bring the hood up. No side to side movement. Takes away all the, the wobble from the sloppy stock hood hinges. At Eddie Motorsports, we make hinges for. 38 different models of cars and trucks. We're the biggest manufacturer of billet aluminum hood hinges there is. And you can find all of our models on summitracing.com.